at home again to take on Russell Osmond's Bristol City. Here's Steve Dixon. Here's White again, and he finds Mortimer. Oh, nice turn from Mortimer. Mortimer skips away from one challenge, and a second, and a third. Great run from Mortimer. The shot comes in. Oh, he squeezed it in. What a marvellous goal from Paul Mortimer. And uh, he's well pleased with that. And well, he might be. And that really did roll back the years for the Charlton fans at the Valley this afternoon. Paul Mortimer scoring the type of goal that he used to score for Charlton in the first division days a few years ago he drifted away from one two three challenges and then picked his spot past keith welch from about 18 maybe 20 yards out charlton athletic one bristol city nil baird mortimer trying to find newton and garland now battling with ian baird comes out on this near side to fowler He's got one man on the overlap, it's Martin Scott. Oh, Scott skips through of Newton, gets the ball in, and Wayne Allison tucks it in, and that is a very good goal indeed for Bristol City. Martin Scott on the overlap, got past Newton, got to the byline, pulled back a decent cross, and Wayne Allison, one of the better centre-forwards in this division, just tucked it in past Michael Mound. Charlton from this near side. And the chance now, oh it's White, and there it is, it's 2-1 to Charlton. Alan McCleary won a vital header in front of Keith Welsh, and David White was there, right place, right time, 2-1 to Charlton. Robson it was who swung the cross in. Nelson got the header on the edge of the box, and it was Alan McCleary, the captain, who popped up there in the six-yard box beat Welsh and White did the rest. Mortimer sends that one forward and Nelson giving chase. Mark Shell is a defender. Can Nelson get away from him? White, oh, neat ball in towards Robson. The chip to the far post. Oh, the chance for David White and it's 3-1. David White grabs his second of the game and that really was a super move by Charlton. Mark Robson on the overlap, flipping the ball to the far post, and White was there to make it 3-1. Gary Nelson was involved. White played a super ball in for Robson, and then made a neat run to the far post, and all the Bristol City defenders went to the near post, and when it arrived, David White was unmarked to make it 3-1 to Charlton. Bristol City are not out of this game yet. They fashioned one or two decent chances. Cross coming in from Edwards. Allison with the header, and there it is. 3-2. And this game is not over yet, there's still 19 or 20 minutes to be played and Wayne Allison grabs his second of the game and again, a very tidy finish indeed from the City Centre forward. Edwards swung across in and Allison neatly finished with his head. The game finished, Charlton Athletic 3, Bristol City 2, the Addicts 4.